Okay, we got another story here with Dad and Ralphie. So, uh, once again, Ralphie wasn't born yet, but I was, I guess I was like, I don't know, six, I was probably 17 or 18, I guess, when this happened, but we used to always go to the uh, turkey run in Daytona, Florida. Yeah. And uh, I had a 63 Nova was my first car, and I repainted it, but never really got the car to drivable because I had a bunch of engine problems and stuff. But I had a 64 model Nova. It was also a four-door that was the parts car. I paid 100 bucks for it. Yeah, got it in uh, Sweetwater. Right. Yeah. And then we ended up getting that car run. It had been parked for years. It was, I think, a one owner, like 80,000 mile was car. A, it was a clean little car. Yeah, yeah. it was super clean. So yeah. it was a parts car because somebody had stole some front end parts off of it. So we got that car running, and I was driving it back and forth as my daily driver, three speed on the column, and I ended up making it a floor shifter, like a Mr. Gasket yeah. cheap floor shifter. Yeah, I used cool. to race Hot Rod Hoarder every day, leaving Auto Body School in his S10. <laughs> he has, me and him have some great stories about racing each other. We were identical. Like our, He had a, a four-cylinder, five-speed S10, like a 93. I had that 64 Nova, six-cylinder, three-speed. And depending on who got the shift, we were dead even. Those cars, neither one of them would pull each other. You just had to get the shifts right. It's not going fast. No, the, no one knew we were <laughs> racing. But uh, anyway, so we decide, for some reason, I wanted to drive this car to Daytona, Florida, uh, all the way from East Tennessee. So the night before we left, this car had always done great, didn't use oil and nothing like that. I decided to adjust the valves because I'd had some, like, you know, ticking valves. Yeah. So we adjusted the valves the night before. As soon as we started turning the wrench on adjusting the valves, the car started smoking out the tailpipe. We made a mistake that night. That was a mistake. So the little O-ring for the valve stem seal, apparently it messed them up when I did that. So the next day we go to leave and we left East Tennessee. We get into North Georgia area to get fuel. And uh, I wasn't going to check the oil at the gas station. And I was like, well, we better check it anyway. It didn't really use oil. I pulled the dipstick out, and there's nothing on the dipstick at all. And it hadn't been rattling, hadn't given no indication. Is no, low. we had oil pressure still, but there was, it was nothing on the dipstick. So we had to put three quarts of oil in it in North Georgia. We keep driving the car on down into uh, Georgia, and every time we stop for gas, we're putting two or three quarts of oil in this right. car. And we're committed. We're not turning back. Okay. No, no. So we get into Florida where the the roads were concrete roads, and it's like. Every few feet, you hit a little bump. And I had made the exhaust on my own, you know, at 16 years old or whatever. And the exhaust had uh, a coat hanger at the back and the engine at the front. That was all that held it up. And it just kept getting lower and lower, and the car was already lowered. So it starts scraping the pavement. We start hearing yeah. every so many feet. And all of a sudden, just everything falls out from underneath the car. We pull over on the side of the road and we found some surveyor string on the side yeah, of the road. We did. So this is how, this is like going on drag week or something. We're side of the road broke down, right. trying to fix things, get going back out on the road. So we get this surveyor string and we tie the exhaust over the roof all the way around the car. So now you can't even open the back doors. And we tie the exhaust back up. We make it a few, I don't know how many more miles. We kept trying to tie it up. It kept burning through it, obviously. And we ended up making it to Daytona with the exhaust, but we had to stop several times yeah. to fix it. Stop, kept putting oil in this thing. So we get there and I decided we're gonna take the exhaust off of it now. So we took all the exhaust off and we drove around Daytona at the turkey run and we drove it all the way back from Daytona to East Tennessee with no muffler whatsoever. Now you got exhaust fumes in the car. Yeah, so now it's choking us out with exhaust fumes that are smoky because it's burning oil the whole way. Anyway, moral of the story, we get all the way back to East Tennessee and we've used 12 quarts of oil. So we've changed the oil in the car almost three times, basically, on this one trip because we drove, you know, from Tennessee to Florida and back. We used 12 quarts of oil. Yeah, but we did it. That may be a record. It could be, but we had a good time. I mean, that's great. just parts of uh, getting out and driving cars like you see in Hot Rod Magazine where they say, get out and drive your car no matter what it looks like. So get out and drive it and enjoy it.